Good morning. It's a stupid o'clock in the morning. It's frozen. It's minus four degrees and we are heading south to Utoxeter. We are heading to Bramshall Road Park Run. That's the plan anyway. There's a high chance of cancellations at this time of year. Fingers crossed. Let's get on the road and see where we get to. The van door is frozen shut. We can't actually get Poppy in. Uh, it's opened a little bit. That is a cold girl. We have arrived. We have parked up in the car park of the leisure centre. There's a 2.1 metre barrier, so we've just made it under that. Now there is usually a parking charge to park here and in one of the other car parks, but because it's December, it's a Saturday in December and the parking charges do not apply. I'm just gonna go and look at this sign. There we go, £1.40 for two hours usually. But Saturdays in December, no charge. This is the closest car park. There are two free car parks. So if you're visiting and it's not December, there is still free parking. And then it's about a 10 minute walk to the start. It is Baltic. It's minus five degrees. I'm in shorts. I'm not sure that was wise, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. We're here, the park runs on, I'm so pleased. Event number 74, I need it for my Wilson index. I need 74, 68 and 99 to get my Wilson index above 100. So that's what I'm working on at the moment, my park run challenge, a Wilson index focus. Anyway, we're meeting the woods here. Steve's traveled with us and we're gonna go in you talk to Leisure Center in the cafe to get warm before park run starts. So let's head in there. Heading into the cafe. So this is where we'll be coming after Park Run. There's a little cafe here. This is how cold it is. Look at these little icicles. Whoa, so cold. So head into the start toilets inside the leisure centre. That's all open, so warm in there. But we're heading out into the cold to find the start. Which I believe is sort of literally just down here at the end. Look at all of these cobwebs. They are insane. I've never seen them with so many spikes. Isn't that incredible, Poppy? That's how cold it is. Whoa! Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Stunning. Wow, it's just amazing. I can't get over how cold it is. They are all over the tree. <laughs> You can make it snow. <laughs> the guys, the guys, the girls are loving it. Oh, they found a playground. Desperately trying to get to the start, but we're just too fascinated by winter. The team are sort of appearing in the background there. <laughs> I was like, well, where is it? Where is it? They said we'd see it, but it's frozen fog. I already can't feel my toes. <laughs> it is unbelievably cold. Wow, but it is a beautiful morning, it's dry, it's crisp, 
and it's white. Hi Mark, welcome to Ramshaw Road Park by event 74 uh, here in New Soxeter. So it's a three lap anti-clockwise multi-terrain course and thank you very much. Three lap uh, multi-terrain uh, course, it is uh, not too bad underfoot. The run director Andrew was here about half past seven this morning doing a, a, a run, uh, just doing a course inspection. I've just run a lap of it myself and there are one or two patches on the course where there are some cones marked out just to look out for some ice but other than that it's actually fairly good. It's been, it's been fairly dry here the last few days so you know despite the fact it's been cold it's not too wet underfoot so therefore not icy and slippery as yet. So we start and finish in the area on the, on the field behind us here where the start sign is. Uh, runners will then stampede across to the far corner there. There's a log there, you can't see it, but that's uh, where there'll be a marshal point which will take you uh, alongside those trees amid, amongst the mist where there's a gravel section for two or three hundred metres. Oh, you can't see anything. Uh, you get through that and that, that actually start. is really quite, I'd say, quite firm and safe today compared to a few minutes ago when it's quite wet and sort of muddy. It's probably better conditions today. At the far end of the course, there's a what we call a quadrangle section. Um, uphill to start, up skaters rise, skaters rise actually named because there's a, 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 a skating sort of uh, park there, a children's play area and some tennis courts. Just watch your footage as you're coming back downhill on the other side, there's a couple of tight corners just where you need to be careful. At the end of the first lap you'll come to, you'll come from this direction and there's a bin on that corner, we call that 3 two, one bin, i.e. three laps to go, two laps to go, one lap to go <laughs> and then to start the second lap, you see the second side of the second lap would be an uphill climb on the grass. Um, with generally a, a, a small park run in terms of the numbers, typically 90 to 100 runners per week. The course is quite narrow in places, um, but given that we're not a particularly congested course, you should be, you know, you shouldn't be bumping into people. I think that's just about it. Uh, Andrew will be doing the main run brief shortly. Um, I think he's wearing a tutu today. He often does. So oh, excellent! Stand out. Um, <laughs> any questions? Any anything for us? Uh, leave your start finish yeah. area is here, so you can leave your bags, belongings, barcodes, or whatever here. Thank you so um, much. Enjoy your run. And yeah. Hey, thank you. <laughs> We're all just walking up towards the start, which is here. As you go around the course, especially as it joins different paths where there's junctions and the, the pavement's a bit, a bit wider, just be a little bit more careful for me as than normal. Everyone ran this morning and it was okay. So there's a couple of slippy bits. Um, just. Just down here, as you come as you come back back through, we put some cones out, and I'll be there on the first lap to make sure everybody's okay for it as well. So, welcome to Bramshaw. This is our event 74. Yay! Uh, I need it for my Wilson Index. Hooray! <laughs> I'm cold already. Don't know about you, but yeah. oh no, sorry, thank you. It is a three-lap course, so make sure that as we go around, we do, we do do three laps. <laughs> as you go, as I said, it is a little bit slippy. We're going to start off going down here, turning right and up to, you can just about see Maureen in the fog up there. Ringing bell. At, uh, <coughs> at what's conveniently called Big Log because there's a big log there. <laughs> Follows that round to the left and we're going to keep going round three laps. I wouldn't say it was a day for PBs, but uh, not a PB day. Just do you, you feel you need to. Some speedy okay. looking people though. We've got a couple of milestones here. We'll all meet Joseph as you go round the course, I'm sure. Joseph, it's his 10th event here today. Amazing, that's a thing, yay. We've got people in from oh, awesome. Paris, and we've also got people in from Greeley Forest. So if anybody has come from further away, if anybody wants to, to fill out our board in, then please do as you, as you come down. Other than that, I don't want to keep you standing in the cold too much longer. So, let's, let's get moving. Are we ready? Oh. Let's get going. Oh, it's so cold. So if timekeepers are ready, we're going to do a countdown from five, four, Three, two, one, off you go! Watch out! <laughs> Amazing! They've just started the Rocky music. Can't feel my toes. Heading up the hill. Thank you, Thank you so much! <laughs> A very, very, very cold 
three lap mixed terrain course. Event 74, excited about that. Excited to be here with friends. <coughs> excited for a new event. Oh my goodness, that made me jump. Oh, the dog, the dog took out the arrow. Whoop. Broken arrow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Just come out onto a tarmac path. It's actually really not that icy. Um, we'll wait and see what the coned out icy bits are like and the wooden bridge, but these conditions are so much better than I thought they'd be in these freezing temperatures. Morning, thank you so much. The first of the bridges. I'm very cheerful, Marshall. Thank you so much. <laughs> All of these railings have just got those spiky ice formations on. I wonder if there's a name for those sort of horizontal icicles. They're incredibly beautiful, really magical. Oh, bridge number two, a little wooden bridge. Oh, and there's a completely frozen lake there. And a runner's coming behind me. It's very peaceful actually cows up there on the hill. Anyway, back to running, carrying on. Oh, the ducks have found a little bit that isn't frozen. I thought I saw the front run. Oh, there we go. Front runners heading across in front of us as we cross the next little bridge. Thank you, Marshall. Well Thank you. Thank you. Well done, awesome run. So heading up here to do a little loop. Oh, a little bit of a cheeky hill here up to the skate park on this loop section. A really good time at pass. I'm loving this park run. Thank you so much. Oh, top of the hill. Ah. Oh, I'm ready for the flat. Trying to warm up, I still cannot feel my feet. I think they're still there. Yeah, <laughs> still there, but so cold. Heading back towards the bridge, finishing this loop. And it's just occurred to me that I might see Poppy. I'm assuming she'll be walking at the back with Danielle and Faith. Oh, there they are. Oh, <laughs> Michael just about got a high five. I'm going to miss them by seconds. Well done guys, go Pops! Yay, well done girls! And we go back over the bridge. Thank you so much. Thank you volunteers. Thank you. I love that loop, it's so sociable. You can see out across the loop to those just ahead or just behind. And then you get that very brief chance for high fives on the bridge. Oh yeah, we get to go back to past Cheery Marshall. Thank you so much. You're such an awesome Marshall. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Speedy runners. Oh yeah, keep warm. <laughs> the little Marshall dance. <laughs> Thank you. That's the front runners carry on coming past. Well done. Well done. So more chances for high fives along here. Well done. And then we're heading off straight, but the runner's coming back from that path there on the left. So no more high fives along this section. We're coming up to a mile in. I just saw Steve on the other path heading out in his second lap. And I said, can you move your feet yet? Cause I can't still feel, I still, can't feel mine. He was like, nope, <laughs> we've got no feet, which makes it a bit precarious, but the paths are largely very, very good. So all is well. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I'm just going to stand here. That's amazing. Bubble Marshall, <laughs> bubble run director. That's amazing. 
<laughs> Look at the bubble, thank you so much. Are you kidding me? Right, that is a park run first for me. In my, what is it? 648 park runs, never had bubbles blown at me while running. This park run has just like leveled up in terms of my favorite park runs to visit. Not sure if you get bubbles every week, <laughs> but we got bubbles this week. Thank you for your jingle bells. <laughs> And that must be the one, two, three bin. So, <laughs> heading up to lo Right, what is going on? This event is amazing. There's a bubble machine. <laughs> These guys are awesome. So the finish is just over there. And we've got two more laps to go before we head into the finish. I'm surprised that those bubbles aren't freezing straight away, actually. I don't know if anyone's ever tried to make frozen bubbles it's really cool but uh it is minus five maybe minus four so yeah oh thank you so much but the bubbles aren't freezing it's not quite cold enough now starting the second lap so i won't film the lap again very much the same as the first lap for the next two laps i thought i would have taken off my parkrun fleece so i'm in my parkrun adidas Police from back in the day, Nike being the first parkrun sponsor, Adidas being the second. So I thought oh, I'll put this on, but I was expecting to have warmed. I was expecting to have warmed up by now, <laughs> a mile and a bit in, but no fingers, no toes. Very cold, Nicola. <laughs> there they are, having all of the fun. Oh my girl, I miss her. I love her. Right, I should finish my run then, I can cheer them in at the finish. Just been lapped by the front runner, so they're going well. Steve, well done Steve. Dolly or Bev? <laughs> He's in it with me now, but oh, I got an arbitrary back. Yay, the correct response. Oh, this is cool, I just stopped to read the sign. This is the old pool. There'll be people paddling there when the wind blows. The snow is all fall or the ice is falling like snow from the trees. It's really cool. Who's this? It's Steve. Well done, Steve. Awesome run. As he disappears into the wintry fog. I finally took my layer off. <laughs> I've warmed up and left it with one of the lovely marshals. Often on a three lap of the second lap he isn't my favourite. Bit too busy. Sometimes narrow, congested. Well done. Thank you so much, well done. But here, the second lap is awesome. The runners come in from everywhere. You're being lapped, everyone's super supportive. The marshals are super cheery. I just got the warmest, fuzziest park run feeling. And I'm fully obsessed with all of the plants, the icicles on everything. Are they icicles? There must be a better word for them. But it just feels <clears throat> really, really magical. Well, this is a little bit of ice. <laughs> Jump over that. Well, I really hope Poppy enjoyed the bubbles on the first lap. <laughs> they were incredible. So to the end of here, you can just about see the marshal. Finishers will then peel off to the right. And in fact, I'll get left because I'll be going left up the hill one more time. Three, two, one, bin, done three and two next time finish i hadn't appreciated the line of cones <laughs> loving this colorful line to follow up to the big log about to start lap three thank you so much i hope you're not too cold oh good <laughs> running across this little bit of grass that's defrosted <laughs> from one of the footfall of the park runners. I think this is my last stop to appreciate the wonderful icicles. Look at them, <laughs> it's so fun. And then this is my favorite tree. Do you know, I can hear a whole lot of noise behind me. Do you know who's causing that? Poppy. Oh, they've made, <laughs> they shook a branch of a tree and it snowed. Oh, kids having fun. That is what park run is about. Get out, get active and have fun outside. 
Ah, oh, it warms my heart to hear the <laughs> delighted squeals of the kids. Oh wow, your whole hat is frozen! I've stopped to cheer these guys on. Look at my hair. Let me have a look at it. Oh, oh my gosh. You are a little frozen Stop child. Amazing, well done. And the ice you seem like you're having loads of fun. Enjoy the last little bit. Bye guys, see you at the finish. Tail Walker and Park Walker just behind them. Last little bit now, just straight along here. And into the finish this time, rather than back up the hill, start another lap. What a joyful morning. Oh my goodness. Absolutely loved every second of this. Loving it more now that I can feel my toes. So, yeah. Keep going, well done. Keep going. <laughs> Michael chewing us in. Thanks, Michael. Last little turn. I love the bells. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. So many of the marshals have said, have a great weekend. You really get the idea that they're here because they care. They really care and want you to have a fantastic time and, and just gives you the warm fuzzies. Here we go now, the finish line. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I love that. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you for the bubbles. No that was amazing. Uh, thank you. Did the bubbles freeze? Oh, oh the, the bubble machine. The bubble machine froze. So what was I? 56. Oh, you can't see that at all because my glove's over it. <laughs> Number 56. You can see it now. Thank you, Scanner. Did you have a good run? I did, yes. Yay. Did you? Oh, magical. I loved it. Amazing, I'm done. Let's pop it in the bucket. Try not to lose my barcode. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have loved that run anymore. I just had to keep stopping to appreciate the beauty of this morning. We never get frosts like this. Just waiting for Poppy to come in now. She shouldn't be too long actually because the boy that she was running with has just come in. I think that was his 10th park run today. So congratulations to him and I'll go and cheer in Poppy. <laughs> Here comes Poppy. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> well done, darling. It's hard to run in that many layers, isn't it? <laughs> well done, guys. Well done, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? What a great morning. Oh, my goodness. Everyone's just happy and smiling. And uh, we were just chatting and saying because when we were looking at options of where we could go if this was cancelled, and you look round and you, you do sort of weigh up park runs. And we were just saying, it doesn't need to be a stately home or, you know, National Trust or on a beach. It doesn't have to be incredibly beautiful because there's beauty in everyday parks like this. This has been absolutely magical. Huge congratulations on your 10th park run. It's a thing. <laughs> As the team pack up the event, the very cold team. Everyone's like, have you seen your hair? Apparently my hair, all my hair is frozen. <laughs> I just love it. So I love this weather, love this event. We're back at the leisure centre, just going to head into the cafe now. Just grabbed a word with Andy, run director today. Lovely Andy, in his tutu, just to make people smile. Oh, the warmth has just hit me. Um, so yeah, I had a chat with Andy for the podcast, so that was lovely. Find out a bit more about the park run and... Oh, look at this. <gasps> Michael's gone to get me a hot drink. These guys are looking warm. My hands are so cold. So I might just uh, steal some warmth. Look at that, of the color of my fingers. It's still like minus three outside. Oh my God. <laughs> I've drunk my hot chocolate and I'm just coming to say goodbye to these incredible frosticles. <laughs> they are the most magical thing. I'm obsessed with these and all the frozen cobwebs. Look at all that beauty. And the park has returned to normal, a really quiet, peaceful park. And actually, it was relatively peaceful park run. So sometimes when you're at a park run, it's quite overwhelming, there's lots of people. And sometimes I like to go back after the park run to really appreciate the place. Whereas here, it really felt like you were appreciating the place while you were running around because it wasn't too busy, so I really like that. Look at these frosticles behind me on the trees. 
So saying goodbye to Bramshall Road Park, going to head into Utoxeter itself, wander into the town and go and find some brunch. It's been an absolutely incredible morning. I really hope that comes across on the video and on the podcast in the audio with Andy. There's something really special about this park run, about just the feeling, the community, the encouragement, the energy. It's, yeah, definitely got a special place in my heart. I've really enjoyed it. Ticked off my number 74 yeah event 74 for my Wilson index I do love these parkrun challenges because they get you to these places that wouldn't necessarily be on your radar and um, if not I mean there's hundreds of other park runs that we would get to before we'd hit this one but it's been great to travel here because we've just loved it so much it's great that our park run friends are with us so we're going to go and spend some time with them and really make a day of it huge thanks for watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it i'd recommend coming to check out this park run if you're in the area or you fancy a trip here give the video a like if you have subscribe for more running adventures i'm trying to think what's coming up my 650th park run is coming up in a couple of weeks so i'll definitely be filming that one anyway take care guys happy running and i will see you soon hopefully things warm up just a little bit